So an interesting thing to know about me is that I'm a weeaboo, and as a weeaboo, I like anime girls. So, what better way to procrastinate on animations than to play an anime girl visual novel? Today, we're going to be playing If My Heart Had Wings. Alright, let's get into it. The bicycle road race is known as a really harsh sport. The hill climb in the middle is H-E double hockey sticks as well. While putting strain on every muscle in your body, you have to continue pedaling without any brakes to climb a steep hill. At that time, I always think, I can't do this anymore. I'll make this race my last. Even though I think that every time in the end, I still take part in the next race. I've endured, endured severe training so that I don't put my feet down halfway through the high, hill climb. <clears throat> I can speak. Why do I do that? I don't know. Because once I finish the hill climb, I am waiting for my reward. Oh, gosh. Nothing compares to the feeling of cutting through the wind as I race down the downhill section at blistering speed. At that moment, I feel an incredible rush. Then, I realize that I have forgotten about everything. The pain of the hill climb, the strain on every muscle in my body, and the days of hard practice. It's not a matter of whether, of whether I win or lose the race. I just enjoy it, and that's why I continue to ride. That's how it should have been. Until someone ruined it. No. Oh, hello. I still didn't have much life experience at that time, and it was something beyond my imagination. Suddenly, without warning, something was taken from me. I could also say, shut away, or lost. However, to directly express the emotion I felt at that time, taken is the word that best, that fits best. It should have been best. So there was one thing that I learned. Life isn't all about having fun. I gained a lesson in life. The thing I lost was everything. I let myself get depressed about this, but I should have thought... Uh, <laughs> I let myself get depressed about this, but I should have thought about it a little more. If something could be taken, taken from me so abruptly, then something could be given to me just as suddenly. The wind blew. A gentle but strong wind. It would not be unreasonable to call it an encounter. What this could be this... what. Am I reading that right? What this could be the start of. Okay. Even now, there's still no way for me to know. The windmill is turning. Is it really? The people... Oh, people are overwhelmed just because of the size of such enormous kings. This unnatural silhouette <laughs> serves a function, but to those who don't know what that is, it would appear to be something very bizarre. I guess I don't know what it is, because to me, it appears to be very bizarre. Oh, did I skip stuff? With so many lined up like this, it could be said to be even more overwhelming. But why is that? The sight of the white windmills lined up on the green hills somehow seems so picturesque. This is amazing to think that something like this could be... Oh, wait. This is amazing to think that something like this could be made. At the very least, five years ago, there was nothing here, just the wide open space. I heard they were going to build a large scale renewable energy research facility. Try saying that five times fast. The cell phone in my pocket vibrated to tell me I had received a text. It's from Anchan. Anchan. Anchan? Anchan. To Aoi. Did you arrive here? Whoa. Did you arrive here already? Sorry I couldn't come to meet you. 
My name is written using a Chinese character read as Aoi. It's a difficult character, and it's so often mistaken for Midori. Midori. How do you get those two names confused? Incidentally, whether it's Aoi or Midori, it is often mistaken for a girl's name, which causes a few problems. As I would expect, I'll, I'll quickly write a reply. I hardly ever use text, so I find the key touch awkward to use. I got here a little er too early, so I'm just going for a stroll. The windmills are amazing. Okay, said. The reply came quickly. They're great, aren't they? It's the new famous spot of Kazagwara. If you have any problems, contact me anytime. Anne Chan, you silly goose. Thank you, Anne Chan, An Chan. Whatever, Anne Chan. As I sent the text, I sat down on the ground. This place is on the hillside, so from there I was able to gaze at the lake and the town that stretches across the opposite bank. When am I going to see some anime girl? The rapid redevelopment of the town of Kazagwarababa meant that the rem remnants of the old buildings from the Shawa era are intermingled with the modern. I can read today, guys. Arch architect <laughs> Architecture. The view expresses both the past and the future at the same time. How amazing is that, Aoi? Question mark? What? You've never seen It's an airplane. Something white flitted across my field of vision. Flittered. Was it flittered or flitted? I don't know. For a moment, it looked like one of the windmill blades had come flying off. <laughs> But there's no way that that could happen. Or is there? Is it a paper airplane? <sighs> I think you should know what a paper airplane looks like. I got up and headed down the slope to look for it. The paper airplane, gliding gently, eventually lost its momentum and descended. Gotcha! I ran ahead of it, did a small jump, and caught it in midair. Where did this come flying from? Judging by direction, it had come from the top of the hill. I don't see any hills. At a time and place like this, could there be someone here besides me? Is it an anime girl? I took the paper airplane with me as I climbed up the slope. Just as I was able to see the top. A sudden gust of strong wind blew the paper airplane out of my hand. Ah! Hey, wait! I chased after the paper airplane and ran up the slope. When are we gonna see some anime girl? I'm getting really mad. If my heart had wings, I assume that said. Starring paper airplane. Then, just as I finally caught it, it exploded. She's, what is that? Oh, is that a wheelchair? Aoi. Da, 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 da. There was someone on top of the hill. Good on you for figuring that out. It was a girl sitting in a wheelchair. Again, good on you for figuring that out. Looking fleetingly into the distant sky, a sudden breeze blew her hair, and she combed it back with her fingers. Against the background of the blue sky and windmills that spread across my view, the girl's black hair and white blouse looked incredible. It was as if I was looking at a completed work of art. On that note, I think I'm going to end it here. If you guys want me to continue these series, let me know in the comments. Please leave a like as I desperately need them. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.